Hello guys! Let's talk about this is part two. The advert does not tell about Thank you. the noun. Okay, but it tells about the action. Yeah, it tells about the action or the verb and the adjective or another adverb but never with the noun. Okay? So, pag sinabi nating sa ay mabilis, tumakbo. Sino yung sinasabi niya or alin yung sinasabi niyang mabilis? Yung tao ba o yung pagtakbo? It's the way he runs. Yun ang mabilis. So, mabilis siyang um, what else? If it answers how, yon manner, you know, gracefully. She talks softly. What else? She reads well. Diba? Yun yung mga manner. Paano niya ginagawa yung action? But when we say, I will go there. Yung there ay adverb of place. Because you are pointing as to where you are going. I will go there. But when you say, I, I will return this book tomorrow in the library. So you see, gumamit tayo ng dalawang adverb. One is the adverb of time for tomorrow. And another is where? In the library for the adverb of place. So we have the adverb of place, adverb of time, adverb of manner. Something that tells kung gaano natin siya kadalas ginagawa. How often. Okay? Okay. Um, pang-abay or the adverbs may give us the time. Um, it answers the question when. Okay? When? Uh, where? Okay? What else? Uh, how often? Gaano kadalas? Um... I hope you get it clearly. Let's proceed to the preposition or in Filipino we call it pang ukol. A preposition is a word governing and usually preceding a noun or pronoun and expressing a relation to another word or element in the clause. So in Tagalog, malaya at hindi malayang sugnay. Okay, so clauses. It's different from the phrase when we say Phrase is parirala. Okay? It, it may be a verb phrase, a noun phrase. It may be a prepositional phrase. Okay? I put the glass on the table. Okay? The next word is a noun. On the table. On the table. With the article the, okay, it determines, okay, the and a and n are articles, okay. I will put my bag on the table. So, bag and table. What is the relationship between the bag and the table? The bag will be put on the table. I will put my bag on the table. So, if you just say, I will put my bag. It's hanging, right? You still have the question in mind. Ah, where are you gonna put your bag? Your sentence isn't complete. Only if we could say that. Okay? So, we should make our sentence complete using the prepositions. Okay, so, I'm giving you the examples on, in, at, beyond, beside, over, under, after, before, behind, okay, beneath. <laughs> what is beneath? Beneath is under, right? You are the wind beneath my wings. See? Ikaw yung wind, ikaw yung hangin sa ilalim ng aking mga pakpak. By which I cannot fly without you. Meaning, under. Okay. Okay. Next, um, let's go to conjunction. Conjunction in Filipino is pangatni. A conjunction is a word used to connect clauses or sentences or to coordinate words in the same clause. Okay? 
clause is again mentioned. Why? Conjunction is really very important to connect two clauses. Just imagine it's because if be not available. It's hard to explain, right? Because because is very important. In Tagalog, when we say, kasi, sapagkat, kasi yung because, di ba, sa, sa English, sapagkat, okay? Masyadong formal, no? sapagkat, kasi, eh, man, minsan pa nga, kapag informal, we say, nalate ako, eh, kasi nga, pinalaba pa ako sa bahay, okay? <laughs> if you're talking with your friend, no? I came late, it's because my mother told me to wash my clothes first before I leave. Okay, so, because, simpleng salita, pero napaka-importante. Kasi, kasi, we are giving reason. Okay? We use it also to present cause and effect. Okay, so, we have here the examples, and, but, if, okay, even though, even if, what else? Um, whereas, therefore, while. So that's how language is, no? Very dynamic, tapos very expressive with the use of the conjunctions. Okay? Or, pangat ni. There are so many. Let me mention some conjunctions. Um, uh, even if, kahit na, even though, uh, while, okay, uh, either, or, <laughs> neither, nor, ayan, uh, therefore, well, you are connecting again with another clause, no? Uh, whereas, uh, on the contrary, on the other hand, okay, mga nagko-connect, no? From one, so those are conjunctions or uh, tinatawag natin pangatnig sa Tagalog or sa Filipino. Another one is interjection. This is already the eighth part of speech. The interjection or pandamdam. This is a very short expression of a very strong emotion. An interjection is a part of speech that demonstrates the strong emotion or feeling. Interjections are usually followed by an exclamation point. Yes, when we say, wow, we cannot put question mark because it will sound, wow, <laughs> no, we say, wow, or, oops, you step on my toes, diba? Uh, pwede ba nating sabihin na aray? Hindi naman, di ba? Sinasabi natin, ouch! Aray! Right? Ayun, yung emotion ay nakikita. At ito ay nagtatapos sa exclamation point or tandang padamdam. Okay. See? Parts of speech are very important. Again, let me enumerate. Remember? Okay, say it with me together. Noun, pronoun, verb. Ah, I'd rather say it with the Filipino counterpart. Noun, pangalan, pronoun, panghalip, verb, pandiwa, adjective, pang, Uri, adverb, pang, abay, what else? Preposition, pang, ukol, um, preposition. Conjunction, pang, what? <laughs> what is a conjunction? Conjunction is pangatnig, what else? And the last is interjection. They are very important. But of course, the English language is very, very broad that we really have to study the grammar. Okay? 
noun pa lang, ang dami-dami na ng scope niya. Pwede siya the number, the gender, the types, okay? The concrete, di ba? Sa abstract at sa concrete, minsan, no? Ang iba, malilito. Meron din namang um, what else? Meron din yung possessive nouns. Uh, you already memorized and you know already the function of every part of speech and you could already give examples you could easily identify the importance of each uh, part of speech that you could see in the sentence i'll give you an example <laughs> okay if i say my father is a very strict lawyer. Ang aking tatay ay napakahigpit na abogado. My father is a very strict lawyer. Okay? My is possessive. My is a possessive pronoun. Father is a noun. Okay? Is is a linking verb. It's a linking verb. Nawawala dito si verb na ano ha? Linking verb lang ginamit natin. Is, and then, a is an article. Strict is an adjective. And lawyer is a noun. O, di ba? Already identified. Okay? May isa pa naman. If something from me, keep on learning. Okay? Thank you very much for watching my video. God bless us all. Okay? Keep safe.